I'm Patrick Watson, I'm an astrologer, and you're watching Big Fat Astro Vlog. And today we're going to talk about how to ask someone for their birth time. So this is kind of the struggle that a lot of people who are into astrology have. Um, you know, there's this key piece of information we need, someone's birth date, birth time, and birth place, in order to cast a chart of the planetary placements at the time and place and location they were born, uh, to make all kinds of prognostications about their character and their life and their compatibility with your chart. That's most important, right? Um, and, uh, you know, this can be a difficult question to broach, you know, because there are charged uh, positions about astrology. There are charged emotions people have about it. If they knew that it was for astrology, they might be defensive or, or um, you know, um, they might think you're dumb or an idiot. It is kind of an odd question. I mean, you know, to you, you're going, oh, you know, what time, you know, were you born? And to them, you're all like, <sighs> what time did you exit your mother's vagina? <laughs> It can be really difficult to find a way that isn't too awkward to ask someone for their time of birth. But I have a method. I have a way, a successful way, a proven successful way to ask someone for their birth time without seeming like a total stalker, I guess. I'm a little hesitant to show this because it's my secret trick, but I also want to help you. So this is what I call the parents method. Step one. Take advantage of when the conversation steers towards the topic of parents or engineer the conversation so that it steers toward the topic of parents. I would suggest just trying to take advantage of when the conversation comes to the topic of parents because you don't want to be seen as forcing the topic. And parents are usually discussed at some point or another if you're first meeting someone or, um, you know, something. Step two. Tell the story of how your parents met. So you tell the story something like, my parents met at a bar and nine months later, I was born. On Friday, October 23rd, 1987, 1.06 a.m. at General Hospital in High Wycombe, UK, I was born. That's when I came out of my mother's vagina. The important thing with the way you tell the story is that you have to include humorously all of this seemingly extraneous, specific information about the details of your birth, including the birth time. So you would tell this story in a way that is designed to kind of make them laugh with how overly specific you're being about, you know, the details of your birth. Step three, get them to reciprocate. Ask them the story of how their parents met. They will either respond in kind, in the same format that you did. So they may end their story in an attempt to be funny with you, they may also be overly officious about um, the uh, ending of their story with all of the details, including the birth time. You know, so they may end their story the same way you did. In that case, you did it. You know, you were able to get them to just voluntarily give this information. Um, now, if they don't end the story with that information, like if they just say, and that's how I came into the world, period, um, then you... <laughs> <laughs> in an attempt to be funny, you can kind of say like, oh, uh, and what time did you come into the world? You know, in a joking way, in a way that suggests like, oh, it was like a requirement of the story to provide all of these extraneous details. You know, what hospital? You know, um, now you're seemingly joking, but <laughs> you're actually not joking. You do want them to provide that information. Um, and they just may, in order to kind of humor you, the, they may say, oh, I, I was actually, I was born at 2.15 uh, p.m., I think, yeah. And you got it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, just make sure you're, you know, act like you're texting and you're actually, like, writing in an email to yourself or something on your phone. Um, <laughs> copy down the information, make sure it's right. So uh, that is one way I found successfully to get this piece of information without it ever getting awkward. Now, eventually you may, if you ever, you know, do pursue a serious friendship or relationship with the person that you're trying to find, um, you're trying, the person whose birth time you're trying to find out, then you may eventually have to kind of come clean about your interest in astrology and um, the way that you got their birth information. But, you know, yeah, it's a bit sneaky. Um, but, uh, you know, this is a piece of information we need, and, you know, sometimes it's just easier to get it like this. So, uh, I hope you find this uh, helpful in your travels. <laughs>
<laughs> and in um, you know any future relationships you have. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for to all my Patreon supporters who help me keep these videos going. Um, I know I've been absent on YouTube for a while, but uh, that's because I've been working on a lot of big projects on my website. Uh, if you go to my website now, www.bigfatastro.com, you'll see that I provided a new uh, hor natal horoscope report, which is a you know basically an automated report um, uh, based on your birth time, and birthplace, and birth date, which gives you uh, all of my interpretations of all the various elements of your chart, all the planets in every sign, every house, and every aspect. Uh, so that's twenty dollars available now. My natal horoscope report. If you want to know what I would say about your chart, but you don't want to spend the money on actually meeting with me in a consultation, then I'd recommend that because it's just twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, and you can see kind of my thoughts on your chart in a sense. All right, thank you very much. Bye.